Peggy 18. Heavy Rain was absolutely vital to the studio. It's not even that there wouldn't be uh, Beyond Two Souls or Detroit Become Human. I think there would be no Quantic Dream, <laughs> period. Very happy to be here in Paris. We bet a lot on the genre and the appetite of the, the audience for this type of experiences. When Heavy Rain was released, there was nothing similar. So when you come with a new genre, a new idea, you absolutely need to, to confirm that, that people are interested in what you just created. We are 10 years later and I still meet every day people who play the game or receive mails from fans who tell us how they enjoyed it. And so it's absolutely crucial in the, in the life of the studio even today, 10 years later. We worked on Heavy Rain for a little bit more than four years, which was a pretty long time. And when the game was released, we really didn't know what to expect. We were proud of what we had done. We thought there were some very strong and unique moments in the game, and it was the game we imagined. It was the game that we wanted. So before the game was released with the team, we just thought, you know what? If the game's successful, great, but if it's not, we did the game we wanted to do, and maybe that's the most important thing. Gosh, you really had me scared. Dans la carrière de Quantic, Heavy Rain, c'est euh, vraiment le cornerstone, comme on dit en anglais, vraiment la pierre angulaire, c'est-à-dire que le travail fait sur le monde ouvert dans The Nomad Soul, puis le travail sur la narration dans Fahrenheit trouve, on va dire, le, le, le point d'orgue. Là, on a l'impression que David Cage trouve quelque chose. Le studio Quantic Dream trouve le truc. On peut faire passer des sentiments par le jeu vidéo. C'est une grande avancée. Et euh, Beyond Two Souls et Détroit vont suivre assez logiquement le destin et les pas de Devi Rain. Heavy Rain a prouvé qu'on pouvait avoir un gros jeu vidéo avec une vraie mise en scène qui permet justement cette narration interactive personnalisé et ça, ça a changé les choses. Ça a permis un véritable développement des jeux narratifs. Des, des studios comme Telltale -tel après euh, ont vraiment explosé euh, en Californie ou par exemple euh, Dontnod euh, en, en France. I remember the first time I actually got recognized, this guy came up to me and he goes, you're an actor, aren't you? And I thought he was going to say the show, because you get quite good at it. And so I offered up a couple of shows, oh, you've seen this, and he went, no, no. You're Norman Jaden. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI, tell me what you know. Literally 10 years later, <laughs> I'm in a bookshop, and uh, the guy behind the counter says, wait, you're... You're the guy from Heavy Rain, is that you? You know, because I think that he had also noticed it had been re-released onto, onto PC, so it had become current again. And, um, and he got it, and that's, that's 10 years later. It's great to see a new generation of people discovering the game. Now they can enjoy the game on their own PC and you know, just discover it 10 years later. But it's great to see that it's still very relevant and it still connects to people. I never thought I'd be talking about it in 10 years. Heavy Rain, on s'en souviendra euh, toujours. C'est un jeu qui a compté. To have made something which people think fondly about and like, I think that's your kind of dream, right?